can't have nearly 100% of the kids going to the university. I think when they choose to come to us, right. when they chose to come to us from the beginning, right. they chose, they had already made up their mind that they'll go to university. But, but I'm talking about out there in the, in, in the general population with the public schools. Do, okay. do, 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 do the majority of the kids go to university or a lot of them, do, do, do a lot of them just finish ninth grade and then they go and work? Or? As I mentioned earlier, it's a trend now where most of the students prefer to go to university. Mm -hmm. So majority of the students still want to go to the university levels and get a degree. So we have a university or the colleges that provide degree on the vocational levels. Okay. Yes. Do you have a assistant principals too in terms of your structure? You have a principal. Yes, yes. How many how many assistant principals? Uh, right now we have um, two, two who look after case and toddler and another one look after primary and secondary school. Okay. But even with that, they also have another system. And, and generally, what are the qualifications to be a, an administrator, a principal, assistant principal? Do you have to go to a, do you have, a, have an additional degree or go to a special school? Or can you just be chosen as a good teacher and go into the... It's like, depending on what level of administrative work are they working. If they have, if they're going to be school director, they got to have license mm. to be school administrator. Just a normal requirement. But if they are internal school principal, our preference is at least they should have background of administrative levels. And then number two that they need to have is they got to have educational background. Because mm. if they're going to be in the school, then they should know how to manage and they should know education enough to help. The teachers. Okay. To be a teacher in this country, you need to have what a bachelor's degree from an accredited university. Is that? Yes. Is it a four-year degree or two-year? Uh, if you are, there are two cases. If you are in Thailand, the trend has changed, and you go to the educational, you know, the university that provide educational degree, and that is five years. Five years. Yes. But uh, we are allowed to take teachers with uh, educational degree earlier and come in and teach. Another way that if they're not Thai, but they're specialized in English, mm -hmm. they're specialized in science and math, we can take them, but it is required that they should have at least bachelor's degree. Bachelor's degree to it's get a it. Must to be able to work in Thailand. Yeah. What would you say are the significant problems with education in this country? We maybe mentioned one, fairly low teacher salaries. Okay, another thing that I feel is the changing of the top management, the government. Mm -hmm. When you have the top management that is not stable, it's very hard to implement anything right. because policy change all the time. Right. The new person come in, they come They have a new in, idea. Or they have to start with one again. So after a year or two, the country move back to one right. and move on. Right. and then move back to one. So the continuity of the implementation of whatever it is, whether it's good or bad, is not stable. Right. How, how important do you think technology is? Do you think it's really, really important? Or? I think technology is important if we use it as a tool of education. Mm -hmm. Technology itself is not education, mm -hmm. but technology itself is a tool towards education. So if the kids know how to use that particular tool to search for a real core of education, for the knowledge, technology could be an important part in helping the kids to search as a tool to discover new things, new ideas. Okay. So if Apple Computers came to your school today and said, we're going to give you all free computers, one-to-one -one computers for your kids, right? Free. Yes. But you're... You, you have to put all your books on it, you have to do everything on a computer. What, what would you say to that? I mean, uh, it has, I have to look, if I have to put all the books on the computer. Everything has to be on computer, it's all one-to-one. -one. That's, that's the way it's going to go. And no library. It's all on computer, no. everything I, is I still I still prefer that the student have books. And why do you, why do you say that? What, what, what's the advantage? I think uh, I'm, I'm very old-fashioned. Old Right. kinds of teacher to a certain extent. Right. Uh, all this reading is good. It's fast and it's clear. But the book itself gives the sense of finding, discovery. Because when you really read through books, there right. are some of the things that the book can give you the values of. I'm not sure how to say that, but I still I still think I like the book. Mm -hmm. In a sense, for my eyes, sure. basically, it's better for my eyes. Right. 
and to flip pages and to look through that is it's good, but okay. it could be part of the traditional ways of you know finding knowledge. Mm -hmm. Is education free? I mean, I know it's not free here. It's a private school, but in the country, is it free? Does it cost? Free people? education up to what you grade ten, yes. So that means the kids don't have to pay anything. Everything's free. Uh, they may have to pay for food. Okay. Yes. Some. Uh, some books? Of the books the government subsidizes. They, yeah, they pay for unless you want to have more books. Mm -hmm. Some other books that are not provided by the government, then okay. you may have to buy. Uh, a couple other questions. Do you have to follow a kind of a rigorous curriculum here? Is there a curriculum that the government has established, like a Common Core curriculum here in yes, Thailand? Yes. Uh, the government provide a Common Core. We call it Core curriculum. But uh, fortunately, they give us allowance of additional curriculum. So the core curriculum are the basic curriculum that government say, okay, these are some of the things that you have to have mm -hmm. in your teaching and learning. But then you also have additional curriculum, which you, it's, they give free hand to the school. Mm -hmm. So that school could add on what they want to teach on top of the core curriculum that is required by the government. Okay, and, and would you say that is there a lot of flexibility in teachers' ability to meet this curriculum, or they kind of have to stay right on to the book? I think they, they uh, the government give.